Yo, what's up, big dogs? I'm back again. Yeah. So yeah, Africa was crazy. I had so much fun back there with all my friends and everybody. Yo, I, I had so much fun. I'm not even kidding. So literally today, I really want to cook up some crazy ass beat. I mean, I hope it's gonna be crazy. Cause whatever makes a beat crazy is pissing me off. The 808, freaking 808. Like I can't get it right. Like. I've been doing my 808, I'm like, nah, that 808 sounds like a girl played that freaking 808. <laughs> no, I'm not bitching on them, but yeah, you, you get what I mean. Like, I want to get like the secret to get like crazy ass 808. My template is what? So on my template on my master track, like I have like few plugins in order to get my sound like glued together and sound really good as I want without me tweaking, going crazy on each each individual track, you know? So I have like few stuff on it. Like I can show you literally, let me show you. See, here, here I have Magma, that's like, is a plugin released by Waves. I think it was released like towards the end of last year, like towards Black, towards Black Friday and stuff. It gives me good tones and good, good distortion on my track. Then I have this, um, this is the compressor. I'm not going crazy on it. And if, if you see, like the parallel, parallel miss is like dialed down because I don't want it to affect too much my master track. I have this one for like tonalities, like purposes, because I wanted it to sound like different. It tweaks the song a little bit. It gives a good color anyway. And this is just a plugin I use to be able to um, record the sound of whatever is happening in my DAO into my video so that you guys can hear what I'm doing. You get what I mean? And then all these other stuff, you don't really need to worry about it. That's that's just a um, scale detector. And I use it whenever I'm working with loops and I'm not sure what is the key of the song, then I put it on and it finds the scale and stuff. This is another scale detector from another company. So depending on how I feel, I use one or the other, you know? So now, let's dive into that shit. Okay, so you know what I'm doing now, straight up? Like, what's it go? I need to find some cards. So I'm gonna turn on my scaler. My scaler is here. I'm just gonna take a random keys. I'm taking E, let's say E minor. And see my E minor is on, my, my stuff is on the scaler stuff. I mean the card generator. So I'm gonna route the scaler plugin to expand so that I can get the card generated for me just by pressing one key. Bro, you ain't kill, like you ain't killing yourself. You just use ears now to make music. Anyway, AI are already coming for us. Why do you have to learn those stuff again? You just use your ear. You make your music. You good. As long as it's good, people gonna fuck with you. So yeah, I'm writing scaler in here. Ooh, that sounds good already. But bro, let me find a good combination. Okay, so I think I found my chords. Let's go with this. it up already and it's just gonna repeat so now see here I just did that right so I'm just gonna bring that see back here I don't know if you noticed I recorded my shit without wor being worried about finding the right tempo this is now I'm gonna find my tempo that's one of the features I like in studio one it's not like it finds me the tempo but it makes it easy for me to find a tempo by just playing the keys like so right there, I'm just gonna change here in the inspector the beat stuff. I change it to seconds. It's in seconds, right? That means if I change the tempo, whatever I play is gonna stay the same, but it's gonna move like look, see it's moving. Whatever I play stay the same, but it's moving according. So I know what I want. I want it to like I want a two bar. I know it's a two bar melody I just played. So I'm just gonna do this and make sure whenever it repeats, it repeats at the time I want. But I think like, I think I should even go a little bit down so that here, see, here, like here, it starts on it, like, it starts on the second, uh, the second bar. I almost said major, measure, because I'm French, right? So I was about to say second measure, ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, so yeah, so listen. That's it fam, I found the tempo, so the tempo is 95.75. Literally, I could change it to 95 and make it work with 95, but the thing is, the trick with those stuff is, it's good whenever you're, it's not, it's not perfect. Cause it's not on grid, that makes it like, have a different swing, a different feel. A lot of people don't know that. And even if you contrast your stuff, that feel will go with it. It will be like you put a swing in your stuff, but you didn't put any swing, it's just because the tempo is, the tempo is a little bit off. 
So let's let's listen. Okay, I already fucked with that. I like it. I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm, I, I'm not going. I'm not going crazy. I, like the secret I'm looking for today is 808 secret. So I'm just gonna add a counter melody and then do the drums. So here now I'm taking off the chord mode because I don't want any chord anymore. I want it to stay in key. So it's in F minor. So it's already there. I'm just gonna try to find. I'm just gonna try to find a, a new melo, like a counter melo for that chord. Missing. Let me just quantize this shit. Let's see how it's gonna be. Not too much. Gonna quantize on 16. Bang. And then I know there's one note missing. Missing here. Yeah. So right now I'm just gonna add. There we go. I'm just gonna add a reverb. I'm reducing the level a little bit. I'm gonna reduce the level of the reverb too. Okay, now I'm not going crazy. That, that's what I want to do now. Drums, then I can make my 808. And we're going to figure that freaking 808 together because I need that freaking secret. Okay. Hi hat. You're not going crazy with the hi hat. I can just, I wanted to do it with the keyboard, but I can just, I can just like automate it like this and I'm good. I won't do it that way. I can even do it like you can do it like this. Create a pattern, go on the eight to uh, here, and then the power of doing this is that I can go to repeat mode and then just and I'm good, you know. And then I can even reduce it. Remember, the main goal is to make my freaking 808. Another thing I can do too, most people do that, like they will hit the kick, they will do the kick first and then do the 808 according to the kick. But I feel like if I do the kick and I try to do the 808 after, it's gonna be hard on me. So I should probably do the 808 first and then get the kick to, fo to follow the 808. I'm gonna make sure it's in key, like in C, but I'm not running it through scalar, like no scalar. So it's in E right now, so let's pitch it to, let's put it on E, so if I put it on E and I hit back my C key, you have to show C here, there we go, it shows C, so that means it's on key now, I pitched it, so I don't want to run it through the scalar, because if I run it through the scalar, from what I understood, it doesn't work like that for basses, basses doesn't, sometimes going off key for the bass is good, so let's try to figure it out, do not try to find something. This is funny. Let me just record it because it sounds great already. Yo, but yo, I swear God, this is insane. This is making me happy. Yo, straight up, and I find my 808 and it sounds good. Wait, I don't know if it sounds good yet. To be able to know, I just have to select everything and push it up. And let's listen. Yeah, see, it doesn't sound that good. So, that sounds good. The first two sounds good. That's not good. Yeah, maybe this. Even that boom is not. Yeah, that sounds better. Actually, let me move this up and see. Yeah, it sounds better. Yeah, that's fake. So, maybe up. Yeah. Okay, just to make sure, I know the key of my song is, um, what's the key, let me check, 
so my song is in F minor so I can just do this and tell um, make sure it's in F minor so let me do F and then minor natural minor if I toggle it on C C D that's that's what I was saying C. okay that was natural minor let me try melodic minor this is crazy this that's exact that's a perfect example of what I was saying so see if I were, I were to be in key see this this black it a uh, black note my it are on that and it sounds good to me but the system is telling me that it's not key it's telling me that I should be down for it to be in key but boy down there doesn't sound good it doesn't sound good but up here sounds better Bro, that's that's the stuff with 808. And I've been making a lot of freaking beat by keeping the 808 in scale. But I didn't understand why it didn't sound good. So my goal this year is the freaking like whatever is if it's 808, if it's bass, I don't care. I'm not putting any scalar mode in that shit. I'm playing it right away and then using my ear to tweak it. Because no matter what, I already got the rhythm I want. I just have to make sure uh, the key is right. So that's the secret, I guess. I think that's the best way. Yo, yo, this is freaking insane. Yo, you know what? I'm just gonna put it up. Yo, this is insane. That's crazy. And now, if I wanna wrap up the beat, I just have to like copy this, put all of this on the, um, just pitch it to the same pitch, and then I look for the kick. Easy, like easy, easy. There we go, and then it's gonna lay. I'm layering the kick with the 808. And then if I want, I can add more kicks, like, like. Just easy. And if I wanted to even do it properly, that freaking layer I just added, I could just create another another track for that, and then bring it in and bring it out whenever I want easy but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna take them off but like you get the idea just to make sure I'm not wrong I'm not crazy I'm saving my 808 but I'm gonna make another 808 and we will see tell that there are wrong note in there but bro same idea I have my uh, rhythm now I have to find the right keys that that's it like pitch it up down yeah, pitch it up and make sure um, I can hear it properly turn off that scale stuff I don't need it for the 808 yeah that's good It's already hard, I know it's hard. That's hard, hard. is a rap like literally is a freaking rap if you guys like that video or like such videos please like that freaking video and like 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 you get what i mean just like the freaking video share put a comment there uh give me your ideas what you think about whatever i discovered or whatever i think i discovered because i might be wrong anyway thank you so much for the support guys like share subscribe see you on the next video peace out